being a caregiver to your loved one requires more than physical day-to-day -day care. In many cases, it will require you to also be in charge of their legal affairs. In the African-American community, people tend to make verbal statements about how they would like to see their end-of-life care handled, but most often do not take the necessary steps to make it official. Spiritual beliefs and cultural norms are some of the reasons older African-Americans are less likely to have an end-of-life plan for their care than their white counterparts. There is a mistrust of the medical system in the black community that dates back often as far as slavery and the Tuskegee experiment. Research also shows that inadequate communication from doctors can cause patients to misunderstand hospice and other end-of-life options. Some fear that doctors won't do everything possible to save their life. Additionally, many African Americans feel that planning for death is equivalent to not having faith that God will work a miracle. Ensuring that your loved one's legal affairs are in order will ease the burden for the caregiver. Having a discussion with your loved one and other family members about what they want to happen along their journey and at the end of life is crucial. Studies show more than 70% of African Americans do not have a will. Having a will makes sure your loved one's wishes are honored in terms of my care, money, and possessions. Even a will can be helpful in carrying out your loved one's desires regarding assets and procedures for memorials and burials. These can be difficult subjects to discuss, but they prevent misunderstandings later. There are two types of POAs, or power of attorney. One is financial, the other is medical. Having a POA will be of tremendous help for both the patient and the caregiver. A power of attorney is a legal document that grants someone the authority to make decisions for a person who's unable to do so for themselves. No one plans to be sick or disabled, but planning for what could happen is just as important as living. Emergencies, accidents, and death happen without notice. Therefore, it is imperative that all important documents are kept together in a safe place that they can be easily accessed by your loved ones. These include birth certificates, insurance papers, marriage certificates, military paperwork, and pension benefits. If you cannot afford an attorney to help with these legal documents, help's available. The Legal Services Corporation is a nonprofit group that ensures low-income people in the United States have access to free legal services. There are many legal aid organizations across the United States. The American Bar Association, the largest voluntary organization of lawyers and legal professionals in the world, has a list of lawyers who provide pro bono legal services to low-income applicants. Area Agencies on Aging is a government agency with offices nationwide. The agencies help the elderly and caregivers find low cost and free legal services. To access these services locally, contact Detroit Area Agency on Aging at 313-446-4444 and the Neighborhood Legal Services of Michigan at 313-964-4444. 1975. As your loved one's caregiver, it is important to look for financial help as end-of-life care is expensive. Review insurance policies to determine if they cover in-home assistance or nursing care. Look for tax breaks that can help reduce out-of-pocket expenses. And if your loved one served in the military, reach out to the Veterans Administration to see what benefits they may have available. Taking care of legal issues as soon as possible will make the caregiving role less burdensome and will allow for more quality time with your loved one.